Hangout. We got Tony T and we got Joshua Ricks. Oh, hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome in. Thanks for being here. And yeah, let me introduce my guest to you today, the one and only Chris Davis. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, bud. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Absolutely. How's everybody today, man? What's going on? How's everybody doing? All right. I've got my coffee in front of me because I didn't sleep at all last night. Uh, <laughs> that makes two of us. Dude, uh, no, like we had 70 mile an hour wind here last night. Oh, wow. And I've got a giant tree that's sitting out in front of my house. Literally, I was watching that tree like sway all night. I was like, yeah. that thing goes down, it's coming straight through our house. That's when you break out the bungee cords and just start trying to wrap it to whatever you can, you know. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. Bungee cords ain't gonna hold that monster. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's crazy. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for being here, man. Um, are you able to see the chat as it goes on, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right on, right on. Stacy, what's up? What's up? Thanks. I appreciate that. I just got my ears lowered yesterday and actually got the uh the old man maintained up. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. I gotta, I gotta get on that myself. I'm I'm slacking. Do you do it yourself? <laughs> uh the beard, yeah. Usually the head, top of the head, yeah. Oh god! Uh, I'm, I'm cheap, and I just you know, ten minutes. I shave my head, and I call it a day. I have a full like, head of hair. I'm not. I'm not going bald. I, oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, I'm not going bald. I just don't have the money to every two weeks, especially out here, dropping fifty dollars for a haircut every two weeks. It's not in the budget, so I'm like, all right, I'll just shave my head. And yeah, dude, I haven't it. actually. This is my first haircut I've had in probably over a year. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just got tired of looking like a dead homeless man. I don't know. <laughs> I look like a homeless Sasquatch, so it works. It's fine. I, I like, like it. I like it. I like it. I like it so. All right. So you've seen the show before, obviously. So you kind of know, like, what I do, how I work, you know, mm -hmm. the way that I, I kind of roll things here. Um, so let's just kind of get into things for anyone in my chat right now that maybe doesn't know a whole lot about you, about Elegant Sasquatch. Why don't you kind of introduce yourself and, you know, kind of get us going? Like, like like Kyle said, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm the owner, founder, creator, uh, what else? <laughs> Entrepreneur of the uh, Elegant Sasquatch Grooming Company. Um, I've been making my own products for uh, just about five years now. Um, right on. For the last a little over two, I've been selling them because um, the guys at my job like how my beard was looking. They liked the smell and they're like, yo, can, can, can you hook me up with this? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. They're like, yeah, oh, you should sell this. You should sell it. I'm like, okay, I'm sure. And I just kind of jumped. I'm really two, glad. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of jumped in two feet and, um, that first year was kind of a learning experience. Cause I'm like, ah, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. Sure. I, I'm like, oh, I can just put this together. And I'm like, oh no, I can't. No, yeah. no, no. It's um, a process for sure. Oh, What's yeah. up, Mark, Tony? Yo, hey, hey, how you guys doing? Um, yeah, so like I've learned throughout the years, and I'm still ever evolving my business, my, mm -hmm. my, my concepts. Uh, as we're going to talk about later, the new scents that are coming out, which, by the way, me and you have to uh, have a conversation about that. Yeah. Um, absolutely but yeah yeah so it's just uh, like the packaging everything was brand new to me i'm like all right maybe if i do this okay that didn't work i gotta change this right right and, um, every time i go into a store i'm always looking at something i'm like oh i kind of like that I, I steal people's ideas um, borrow people's ideas all the time you get and I'm like, yeah i'm like I, I like that i'm gonna see what i can do with it and we go from there so um right. i make oils bombs butters uh, and I have a shampoo. You have a wash. I, I do have a wash. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I usually t I, I tend to do the unscented wise, so That's it fine. smells like. Because I'm like, what? What if you're want to mix and match scents? You know, you got one. You know, smell like citrus on one side, and sure. then, hey, you want to smell something totally different on this side, and it won't work. So usually, when I sell it, I sell it unscented unless you want it scented, and then I could, you know, make that happen. Um, I like scented products. <laughs> Yeah, Except yeah, me too. I, me too. I actually, I, I, I like to have like a, um, like an unscented butter 
because mm-hmm. I get a lot of like oils from either different companies or whatever, or if I mm-hmm. purchase oils, you know, if I'm trying to do like the whole round robin thing where I need to purchase oils, just oils themselves and not other products to send yeah. to the other guys. Like I prefer to have an unscented butter. So that way I'm not like putting different scents together. That way I'm not able to kind of figure out what does it really smell like to me and you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And the butters were probably, I've come up with that probably the last year. Mm-hmm. And I had to, I, I had to readjust my formula a couple of times because when I first did it, it was like super thick and like, it was like almost like a block. And then now it's super light and airy and fluffy now. For um, sure. And by the way, whoever uses it, it works as a great lotion for your skin too. Um, I yep. actually have a, a, a couple of women at uh, la- ladies at my job that were like, yo, can you make me just some of this? I'm sure. like, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. So yeah, it works for skin also, like most of yeah. my products do. So and actually, I'm actually wearing a product. Kyle doesn't like trees. I I, I don't like trees that look like they're going to hit my house. <laughs> um I'm actually wearing a product. This is gonna shock a ton of people. It's not often. Okay. You sent me a ball. Okay, this balm. Now I've had to like eat my words before. Usually I'm not a balm guy. And so I I tend to like look at the ingredients of a balm and then I open the package and I'm like, okay, what's the consistency of it? This is like a butter to me. Like Mm -hmm. it does not have the consistency of a balm. It's super, um, it's super creamy. It doesn't. It's not the tacky like normal bombs are. Yeah, it's a hold, and, but it's not a like a firm hold. You know. It's and, a light and, the, and, and I'm glad that you said that because actually your third ingredient is the beeswax in this. So yep. you must still use a very like minuscule amount to not give it like that really hardened, you know, normal balm feel to it that is the second version of my balm i just within like legitimately last four months i redid it because i realized after about a week of me having the products made in 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 the containers it would crystallize Mm -hmm. and it came like hard and i didn't like it like and i was getting feedback from my customers that would buy it and they're like yeah i just after a while i just i couldn't work with it and so i'm like okay give me give me a little bit of time did my research i have five testers that I send all my stuff out to. Um, so if their beards don't fall out and they don't complain about it, and I know it works, you know what I mean? And and, and six, if you count myself, uh, everything I make, I test on myself to make sure it works. Um, I mean, I'm one of those people that are not allergic to anything, so you can you know basically shoot me with a gun and I'll be fine. <laughs> Glad you actually mentioned that because I know that a lot of people have a hard time or have kind of a... I don't want to say reaction, but like maybe a negative uh, interaction, I guess, with coconut oil. So yeah. Yeah. coconut oil is the second ingredient yeah. in the balm. So yeah. just and be that, aware. That, like, is, that, is the, that is the only product that I have that has coconut oil in it. That's right. what gives it that really creamy consistency. Um, right. My other ones didn't have, it had everything else that you see on there except for the coconut oil and uh, uh, the arrow arrow root powder i can right. say that word right. Although, yeah, i'm telling so. you like there's only been one other company mm-hmm. that i have you know spoken about that have a balm like this and and yeah. that would be lucky boy lucky mm-hmm. boy's balm to me is exactly how like the consistency that you have Thank um you. I appreciate it is super like just creamy as can be like look and a, it, a usual mm-hmm. a usual balm you don't like yeah. You're you're yeah. scooping away like a you know chip and dip, you know. Well, like, yeah, you don't usually get that kind of consistency within an actual balm. What's up, Chris? Thanks for being here, man. Oh, Chris, I like the name, by the way. Yeah, right. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah. It um, but yeah, like, and it emulsifies super super well. Yeah, dude. Uh, with, yeah, which which is really nice, and and so does the butters. The butters, the butters will start melting before you get into your second hand. They're, they're yep. that, like they're super light. Um, I do use fragrance oils opposed to um, uh, essential oils because I 
when I started making my stuff, I didn't want it to smell like the stuff that you get over the counter. Like, I don't like patchouli. I hate, uh, you know, I hate smelling yeah, like yeah. old furniture. You know, I don't really want to smell like the woods. I want something I can go and, you know, go to an office, not overwhelm. But at the same time, hey, if I want to go on a date, it's the same stuff, you know. Sure, and I feel smell, that. They're, yeah, they're cologne-based, so which is really nice. Um, yeah, I'm actually wearing one of your oils today along with, you know, that bomb that I was just speaking about. Bro, I love the scent of this. Thank so you. we will we will get into, like, the scents and all of that. Um, but, yeah, I really just wanted people to kind of be able to kind of get a little bit of a backstory about you. Um, what was, like the reason that you actually started to make products other than, you know, maybe, you know, people at your, at your job thinking like, Hey, you should sell this stuff. But like, what was like the driving motivation for you to it, actually start it? It was, you know, going to the store and, you know, first of all, picking up something like that's like, like a little balm or before I even got into oils, it was balms and mm -hmm. I was picking up a balm. It was like 20 bucks. It smelled like lemon. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to smell like that. I'm, and I'm looking at the labels. I'm like, there's like seven, eight ingredients in this. I can make this. It's easy. Right. I can make it. And then right, I did right. some more research. Pinterest was my friend <laughs> when I first started. Um, then, then I found a, a nice little recipe that I went with. And especially with the oils, the oils was, um, that was a real big trial and error. That was like, I, I I think I went through 15 or 20 different versions before I finally oh, wow. got to the point where before I finally got to the one that you, uh, that, that you see now where it's super light it's not really viscous yes. it goes into the yes. beer go really well it absorbs really well and then like I said the scent lasts for like six eight hours yep uh one, one of them I'm, uh, one of them I'm gonna be coming out with like soon actually lasts like 24 which is kind of crazy so but, uh, but, uh, oh man! Thank anyway. you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So I, I, um, I got to keep reminding myself that there's chat that I have to keep reading every once in a while. I apologize. No worries, man. Like this is your first time on here. No worries. Speak that, up from the All right. Thank, Welcome thank you for breaking my cherry, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make it awkward that's my thing yeah all good man so i i'd question yes where did the elegant sasquatch name kind of come from like what is like you know the the choosing of that uh before we get started i didn't when i named my company i didn't realize number one that there was a tv show at one point by that same name uh but the uh, elegant sasquatch Apparently it had like a two or three thing pilot and that was it. Knew nothing about it, which was kind of odd. Number two, I didn't realize on how many beard companies were named after Sasquatch when I did this. <laughs> I didn't need <laughs> to be honest with you. I, I had to Google it after I made it, like after I came up with it and came up with the logo. And really? I'm like, maybe I should like, cause I get, I get people confuse me with Dr. Squatch all the time. They're like, Oh God, yeah, I, yeah. I love your products. Well, Where'd you buy it? Off the website. Oh, I'm like, okay. No, I, I, love, I love your soaps. I'm like, I don't make soaps. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but yeah, so um, it, it actually came from my day job. I work in a warehouse. And at the time, okay. I was just dri I was driving around on forklifts all day. So I had time on my hands, you know, trying to keep my, my mind straight. I'm like, man, I want to start a company. I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? This, this, this. And I was thinking about names. I'm like Sasquatch. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going down the list. I'm like, eh, nothing's fit, nothing's fitting. <laughs> and, right. I, and I looked, I looked over to my boss at the time. I was like, "What do you think about the elegant Sasquatch?" And he laughed and walked away. And I was like, "There's my name." There you That's go, it. man. I like and it. Then, it. then, then it took me six months to figure out the logo. <laughs> Which I love, oh. by the way. It, I love the cartoon. Like it, it, his name. It, <laughs> His name's Samuel, by the way. Samuel the Sasquatch. Samuel the Sasquatch. Yeah. For anyone out yeah. there, Samuel. Yeah, Samuel. Love, love it. Thank you. What's Thank going you. on, Scott? It. Thanks for being here, brother. Appreciate hey, it. Scott. Hello All from right. New Jersey. I'm not too far from Maine. Hey, hey. All right. So let's get into some things, shall we, man? Sure. That's good. All right. 
we're going to start off with some of your oils. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one that I'm looking at is Lucky. Yes, that, that's my personal favorite. Okay. So right here, we have, let's see. So I'm going to read what you've put on, you know, your website here. And it says. I, I, that Before we go any further, my website, I'm, since I just came off a massive sale, I'm out of a lot of stuff right now. Um, so there, there, at any one time, I have anywhere from 10 to 25 different cents out at any one time. So. So you got you got to con constantly keep checking because I may may or may not be out of a cent one time and it will come back soon. So, sure. I'm so, sorry. That. Go ahead. No, 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 not at all, man. I appreciate that. Um, so we have what on on your website it says mm -hmm. indulge the alluring aroma of this fragrance that captures the essence of a sexy and confident man with a blend of complex notes including lavender, vanilla. Woodsy Accords and Musk. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's one of my it's. I never thought I was gonna like the smell of lavender until I made up with came up with this co combo. I'm like, I don't want to smell like lavender. That's it's gonna smell like soap. I don't like it, and it works really well. And that lavender and that vanilla at the end gives it like this warmth. That right. just brings it out. And I was like, this is a keeper. I like this. And I actually like lavender, especially like when it goes with like a vanilla scent. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. It, it, it's so soothe. Like mm -hmm. it, it's just it's so nice. Mr. James Hansen, thanks for being here. Jason hey, Schumer, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for being here. Richard Dowling. I don't believe I've ever seen you in here before. Thanks for coming. Hey, Richard. If you guys are not yet subscribed. Hit that button, it's literally sitting right there and it's free and it helps me out immensely. So please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Yep. All hit right. it, hit it. <laughs> so this was what you said your favorite one of all of yeah, your oils? Is that what you said? Out of all of them, that is my all-time favorite one. And that one came out oh about a year ago. I, I, it was for uh St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Interesting. Now, you just literally said that you're not a fan of smelling like you're going into the woods kind of thing. Yeah. But on here, like it does have like that woodsy accord thing that you were just talking it, about. It does. Right? But when, when, when I say that, I'm like, I don't want to smell like, you know, a lot of times like pine, you know, I would okay. say car air, car air freshener type woodsy. Okay. You know what I mean? Like a lot of, you know, a lot of men's grooming products smell like. I don't like that. Like, I it's, think a it, lot it, of companies yeah, do. Yeah, it's a it's a weird thing. Like one of them I have coming out soon. It's like a smoked cedar, which I never thought I would like, but it, it works out really. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. All right. What am I drinking today? I am drinking black rifle coffee. Absolutely love these guys. Wish I drank coffee. I would have joined you. But, oh yeah. Get on the train, man. Dude, it might stump my growth. I, I want to be a whole six seven, you know. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, gotta go vertical. Yeah. Or it's not a work too. But... Yeah, right. The beard. I don't believe I've no, ever seen Steve. you in here either, man. So thanks hey, for being well, here. You know what? One of my testers is in the chat. Steve from Alabama. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you being here, man. Hit that subscribe button while you're here. Help me out, bro. Appreciate Absolutely. that. All right. Moving on. This is actually one. No, I don't have this one in stock. We What's are that? talking about new money, which is. Uh, the the bomb this, that you have there. Mm. Yes. Which smells amazing, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, you. for sure. So this one, let's see, is sparkling Mandarin, which is different clary sage and smoky vetiver yep. interesting definitely not something i can say that i really had a whole lot of like combination of these kind of yep. scents in this but i will say with the one i'm wearing which i don't want to like say it yet because i want to like get to it <laughs> with that one and this bro like crazy good yeah, there Just you go. That works. Really good. And actually, the Dude. one I'm wearing today was one that I sent to the other 
three mm. guys on, on round robin. So hopefully mm. uh, they should be doing their reviews here shortly. Yeah, yeah like uh, I, I test around with stuff that you think wouldn't go together. Sure. And I'm like, ah, maybe this will work, maybe it won't. And if it works, great. Then I, you know, write down the combo and then you know the, the percentage wise, and go from there. And I can use it at a later time. Like there was one time I was working with um, mango, peach, and vanilla, and I I liked it. It was like a smoked vanilla, and it it, it, was, it was I liked it, and I just haven't did anything with it. But Dude, it's, it's there. So awesome. And I want to talk about your blend really quickly as far as the oils go. So we have organic sunflower oil, organic rosehip oil, avocado oil, organic argan oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, and fragrance oils. Yep. So yep. I got that, that all that, correctly? Yep. 100%. All right. that, that's, what, that's what makes it super light and super absorbs super, super well. And it doesn't stay on the beard heavy. It it, it blends yeah. right in. Yeah, which is really nice. Which I'm really glad. Like, I, I keep going back to this, which I don't usually do. So it's got to, like, speak volumes. Yeah. Um, and outside, outside of my beard wash, that beard oil is the base of every product that I make. So I, I believe you know. it so much. It's on everything. It's on the butters. It's in the balms. Because that's what I start with. And then I go. Sure. Back. I'm just saying, like, usually when I use, you know, a, a, a balm, it makes my, my beard feel, like, really dense, heavy, like, very hard. What if you want to do like that and just start putting stuff in your beard and, you know, keeping it there, you know what I mean, with, with normal balms, but right. mine's not like that, so. Thank you, Joshua. Saw that going on. I was like, yeah, okay. All right. Moving on, we have the Adonis. Yes, that's actually right. named after one of my friends. They, uh, that was for a birthday gift for him. I'm like, yeah, here you go. Here's your own line. There you go, bud. Interesting. <laughs> All right. It actually sounds really, really good. You guys are going to like this one. So this one is Zesty Red Grapefruit and uh, Red Saffron and a Robust Redwood Combine. Interesting trolls are yeah. Yeah. This one I can't keep in stock. I can't make enough of it. Every time I do it, it sells out like that. It, I'm actually on back order right now. I'm waiting for all the ingredients to come in and I, I can't make it fast enough. So it's probably my number two seller overall that I have. My number one is the gentleman, and I'm out of the, out of stock of that one right now, too. <laughs> yeah. So. We'll, we'll get to that in just a few minutes here. Um, but yeah, I really like the sound of this, like red saffron and like some zesty red grapefruit and then like a redwood yep. to, to, to have that, like the, the spiciness of like the saffron. And then you have like the woodiness of the redwood, maybe that it's grapefruit super, to give it a little yeah. bit of like that it, sweetness to it. It's a super, super sporty scent. Um, it was oh actually, my God. I got inspiration off a of cologne that I used to wear. Um, okay. Probably about 15 years ago. Okay. And um, I, I took that that inspiration and I played with it until I found something I liked. So, do you think that that kind of has like a cologne vibe? Oh, 100%, to it? 100%. 100%. It, it's, a, okay. it's a sporty cologne at, at, at most. Yeah. So, oh, dude, I'm going to have to grab that one from you. Yeah. Steve, you are right. The, 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 the Cuban scar, well, what I call the cigar lounge is, is, is up there too. I, I think. I think you have that one also. So that's the one I sent to the other yeah, fellows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry, my mind's no, shot. Right you're, 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 you're good, going. man. Absolutely. Which I know the other three guys really like, like tobacco scents. Mm -hmm. So that one, I have a good feeling that they are really gonna you know, enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate yeah, man, that. absolutely. I actually enjoyed it, and tobacco, for some reason, certain tobacco products to me. Again, it's one of those products that you can either do like really well sometimes, or it is just so like it's terrible. It's terrible. overly like, you know, it, it smells way too much like either like a tobacco leaf or a big cigar that like you just can't get away from. like Or, or the smoke, you know? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. That, that one, that... 
since I don't smoke, I used to smoke cigars a long, long, long time ago. Sure. I, I want to, the next, if I do work with tobacco again, mm-hmm. uh, my grandfather used to smoke a, a, used to smoke cherry tobacco pipe tobacco, you know? I want right. to try to, I want to try to emulate that, but not like the car or air freshener type. Sure. Uh, I have a couple ideas on which way I want to go. I just got to get around to actually doing it. Um, right. It's a kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but I have that to happens, do it. man. That happens. And I absolutely love like your, you know, packaging and whatnot. I don't know how, but like it leaked a little bit on the top there, but that's probably my own fault. Uh, you know what? Uh, the ones that you got have that clear band around it. Yeah. Because I, I, since I do all my own labeling, yep. I, I, I create everything. I bought the wrong labels. And I, oh, bought, okay. I bought waterproof instead of oilproof, which okay. usually comes with a clear coat to it. And I'm like, well, I bought all these. I got to use them now. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, I got a cricket machine. Might as well make a, you know, something to go around it. So it works for the most part. Um, okay i just like i said i just bought the wrong labels but yeah i absolutely like your labels man um the only one thing i would i I would tell you is to put like the scent profile yeah sorry um on the actual bottle and i know i've I've told you that before we've actually had that conversation yeah and 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 i I took that and i actually started putting on the box on the outside packaging um saw that that, that, and actually that's why i shipped the other yeah. two oils to the other guys in that box still because I wanted them to have that. Yeah. And again, going going back to always evolving, that whole box thing is a bane of my existence because wow. I will wake up at two o'clock in the morning with an idea, and I'm like, I got to go back to sleep. I can't. I can't. I sleep. like it though. <laughs> I, I really, really yeah. liked the the fact that you had almost like cigar style boxes yeah. for the oils. I thought that was awesome. I have some original labels. You have come a long way. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. The, He's made the, me a the, original huge fan. the original label was just a square about that big in the front and the and the um ingredients on the back, and that was it. You right. saw right through the bottle. It was like a clear bottle. Like, okay. was like after after the first event that I did outdoors selling stuff, I'm like, I don't like this. This looks very unprofessional, I guess you want to call it, you know. Right. Hey, I mean, we all got to start somewhere, bro, so it's all good. But yeah, yeah I, I like your labeling. I like, you know, the, the, the logo of everything. Again, just start working on putting that, you know, send profile on the bottle if you can. Um, sure. Other than that, the, uh, you know, send profile on that outside of the box. I think that's awesome, too, man. And I like the fact that you have, you have put uh, the QR code on there. Yeah, uh, actually, with my business cards, which I don't know if I have any with me around right now. Um, front of it, I got tired of trying to design a business card after three hours. I'm like, logo on the front, QR code on the back. I'm a man of mystery. You're going to figure it out. I love it. I love it. Uh, of course, now I can't find any of the business cards. Of course. All right. So, but yeah, so it's, it's, the same, it's the same QR code. So it works. All right. Actually, we're going to talk about the one that I'm wearing today. So let's hop into that. All right. Let's pull that up really quickly. So the one that I'm wearing today is Aura. That's one of the new ones. That's the newer ones, I should say. This one is awesome. It it is just fantastic. Thank you. So we have. The aromatic blend of mountain air, uh, sage, and the coolness of eucalyptus with the intertwined subtle notes of cinnamon and tonka and smoky embers. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I, what is that, about four months ago, five months ago, I released four or five new scents, and that was one of them. Uh, it was that obsidian. Uh, or, or Obsidian, uh, Enigma, and there was another one I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, man. Um, but but yeah, this there, one... there was my winter line, and I, every, every like six months I come up with something new. Bro. <laughs> oh. This is one hey, that like, want... I, could, I, could, I could just sit here and like, smell. I was going to say, if you want, I might um... be able to make that into a cologne for you. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, this one is just <laughs> out of bounds, as Guy Fieri would say. Like, that cinnamon, I know you said it's subtle. Bro, that cinnamon with that eucalyptus. Whoo. Thank you. Thank you. That, those ones were my, probably my most challenging thing I've ever made for, for, for any of the scents I've ever made. It was like, I like these. I know where they're, where they're going to go. I just can't get them there. And it's just it's like a like a laboratory. Just drop, drop, drop you know, type of thing. And I got it there. So it works. And now at the end of this, I'm, I'm, I'm still reading on here. And mm-hmm. you, you kind of like explain it a little bit. And you're mm-hmm. like, this fragrance evokes nostalgic memories of autumn nights by the fire with its deep earthy essence of cedar and pine complemented harmoniously by the sweet whispers of brown sugar and vanilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, like like, it's, like I said, I, I wanted something that the longer you wore, the more different notes would come out in the back end. And a lot of them are like that. A lot of the stuff I have will change over time. Smell one way, smell great one way, and then turn around and you'll be like, where did that come from? I didn't see that last mm-hmm. time. Anymore. Aura is, I can't even like say it enough. Like this one so far, outside of the three that we're going to talk about here shortly, this one so far, home run. Like, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I, I can't say enough good things about this one. Like, yeah. it, it's craziness, dude. So, thank yeah, absolutely. It. Like, if you guys are looking for a really, really great set, Again, I got this one probably six to eight hours out of at least, if not yeah. more, depending on how much you use, of course. I use an entire dropper. Yeah, I, I use about two on this main of mine. So, which is uh, unfortunately because I go through a lot of products. I, hear uh, I, work, I work in a freezer for a good chunk of my day. So, this dries out like crazy. So, okay. when I go into work, yeah. So, when I leave the house at a quarter to five, it's the last thing I do. When I get home about three in the afternoon, put a little bit more in, and I'm good the rest of the night. So, do you still smell it like all day while you're mm-hmm. at work? Okay, mm-hmm. well, that's important because, like, someone like yourself that you know works in an environment like that, that's mm-hmm. kind of like in, in my mind, like, that's battle tested as far as like working in an environment that is putting you through all different like temperatures, fluctuations, yeah. that kind of thing, and it's still sticking around. Yeah, I depending a matter of like I want to say about two minutes, I will go from negative fifteen degrees to seventy eight degrees in a matter of two minutes. Wow! So it it constant constant changes, and sure. I think there I think there's about two maybe three cents of everything I have that only lasts about well, four to five hours, but okay. it's on the lighter side. Um, okay, which is okay, but the the oil itself will last all day. The oil. You know, I mean, yep. it makes your stuff soft all day. Yeah, most part. Absolutely. I've been testing everything that we've been talking about um, all week, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And I have nothing but good things just to, to say about any of them. So Thank you. you're, you're definitely on the right track, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. All right. We have up next Elevation. Yeah. Now, when I was looking at your, you know, scent profiles, this was one that definitely kind of caught my eye. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one is, uh, let's see, basil and bergamot layered with a masculine mix of citrus and exotic spices. Yes. So can you kind of give us a little bit of insight as to what those like exotic spices that you are referring to might be? It's a, it, it, it's a, it's a trade secret. I can't, oh, I, I will right. say, I, I, I will say it is on the lighter side. Um, okay. It is. It, it, it is a little bit pung, uh, pungent up first, okay. uh, up first of all, but it does mellow out and it, it's, it's, it's really, really high end. Uh, okay. It's great. It's a great uh, date night scent that I'm, okay. I mean, the people so, that I have, so that I've tried it out and like, yeah, my, my date really liked this. I'm like, oh, good. I'm glad I could help. Yeah. Awesome. So really for someone like my myself who loves a very strong scent, likes to, you know, smell it all day, all night, um, what would you say so far in your experience as far as the scent profiles that you've, you know, really made? 
maybe like point someone like myself or someone in the chat for that instance into um, like that area. If you want to, uh, if you want to go like a, a strong manly scent, um, I recommend going with the gentleman. Uh, that is a cedar leather combo. And that combo, hands down, like I said, that's my number one selling product oil line period that I have. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think. That one's really good. Uh, the Tobacco Lounge is also really, really good. Um, new Money. Yeah, you, you, you saw New Money. New Money's up yep. there for, for, for in the oil-wise. It, it actually is a little bit stronger than opposed to what it is in the balm. Right. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I'm tr just trying to think which ones I have out now. Um, yeah, like I said, Lucky is my personal favorite. That one does come on strong. Okay. Um, and, it, and it lasts for a good, like, six hours at almost full capacity. Um, oh, yeah, shoot. Like, we'll, we'll get to this one in just a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got no. so much. No, uh, you're, just, you're good, man. Let it all there, go. There, there is one I will be bringing back out of retirement. It's called Black okay. Label. And that one is... Uh, like a black pepper, like it's a, it's a strong scent, and uh, it, okay. it it didn't. I had to retire because it, it wasn't doing well. I might have to rebrand it, maybe I don't know, but it was it, it smells really really good. Okay, and uh, it was one one of the first like six I had it out, so that I understand why it didn't sell right away. So I might have to bring that back out of retirement one day. But yeah, that, so that's one of them. So when you're making a new scent or mm -hmm any scent for that matter mm -hmm. like how long would you say trying to like put different scent profiles together before you're actually like that's it like that's that's definitely the one i want how long would you say it takes you to like really put everything together and kind of figure it out um depends like for the, for the most part it's about a week to a week and a half okay um, I mean, I'm one of those guys that kind of goes um, stupid when I come up with something new, or I'm so like laser focused. I don't want to oh. do anything else except for get this out. Right. And it, 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 I, I get annoyed with myself to the point where I'm like, I, I got to put this down and walk away because I'm just, it, it's just, it, it's the only thing I think of until I get it down. But it's I usually mean, about a week. Okay. Yeah. So, sometimes you, you've got to kind of walk away from something before you can really. You know, figure it out and come back to it with fresh eyes or a fresh nose or whatever. And, and really you can always tell when out. I'm working on something new because if you ever go into my office, you'll see Jello cups everywhere with lids on it with numbers. And and I'm like, don't don't open these, please. Don't no no don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. And I'll, I'll have a, like a stack of fifty of them before I get something right in front of me. Wow. And then I'm like, okay, now I have all this stuff. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Right. So usually right. I have to walk out with a trash bag and I'm like, eh, it's just nothing I can do with it. You know? I'll I mean, start out with the scents and then I'll add that to the base oil and then go from there. They'll mix that up and go from there. So, yeah, see, Steve, like I said, Steve was one of my original testers. So he okay. has everything that uh, that I've basically made and he's giving me feedback on stuff that he likes, stuff, he, you know, we've gone back and forth. And so he knows what black label smells like, and it smells, it, like I said, it smells really, really good. It just awesome. didn't really smell when I first had it out. So, I mean, maybe not a whole lot of people, you know, really, yeah, you know, pay attention or had any idea. And so, hopefully, exactly. we can kind of get a little bit more, you know, eyes on it, and, and hopefully get this all going again for you, man. Hopefully. So we have up next the Enigma. Now I know that you had spoken briefly about this earlier. Yes. And actually it smells dope as can be to me. I, I actually really, really want this one. So this one is uh smoky earth cedar pine and subtle hints of brown sugar and vanilla. Yeah. This one was actually an accident that I made. Um, I can combine two different ones together uh, just by accident because I forgot which one I had put in there. And right. Like, and I realized as I'm going through it, I'm like, that's it. And then it just, that, that, that one legitimately took me about 20 minutes to make. Just because it was one an accident. sounds fantastic. I, I don't understand why I didn't grab this one. 
I don't know if maybe you were out of this one or oh I my possibly God. could be. I mean, I can I could probably send you some. Um, Bro, like I think yeah. I have some left. So, but yeah, this, the, it was it was made by Complete fantastic. Action. So, yeah. this um, is but, awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll if I if I I gotta order I gotta order more supplies, but uh, I I can get you some soon. So right on, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And and one thing I want to like tell people right now, dude, is you have a sale going up. You know what? I actually just ended it because I, I get that no, I mean I could put it back on, but I actually get I, I made a code for you and your your followers, so. That's why. That's why. That's why I stopped it because I wanted to give you your code because I can't run both promotions at the same time. Dope. Uh, Let's hear it, man. All right. So basically, from now until eternity, uh, every uh, all your followers they could use bearded and tattooed for thirty percent off my Etsy shop. Yeah. Uh, from now until I I die, basically. Dope. <laughs> so Are you it's kidding uh, thir- me? 30 percent off and um the elegant uh, elegant sasquatch co dot etsy dot com um type that in uh if you guys have any problems with it shoot me a message and uh, i'll shoot you the link for it but yeah it's 30 percent off from now until forever um yeah Bro, so. i am honored thank you oh you're welcome very, very anytime man. anytime, anytime. I, I mean i wanted to like basically tell people that your oil price is like full full actual price mm-hmm. is fifteen fifty. Yeah. It was fifteen dollars, but Etsy raised their price, so I had to raise it up just to compensate it, but I, not, I raised it up fifty cents. So but I mean like let's be honest here. Normal price for oil goes anywhere again from fifteen. Okay. Mm. And I've seen it go anywhere from fifteen to like 24, 25, depending on. I think, I think the know, most like I've ever fire. seen is 42 for like a two ounce bottle. And I'm like, who's paying that? And I, I just, yeah. I, I can't do it. I, I just, no. Like, I want to make something that's, like I said, great smelling that works, but is that affordable price? Like, I don't want to break your bank. I don't want to break my bank when I'm buying stuff. So Definitely. I'm like, I think the, the oils are 15. I think the balms are 10. I think it is. And I think um, I have the butters at 15. We will I'm get like, into everything eventually. Yeah, right now, I'm just going through oils right now. But we yeah, can definitely yeah. pop back on those in just a little bit. And um, basically, every if you don't see an, a butter that you want in the sense that I have, let me know and I can create it for you. Because um, everything I make in oils, I can do in every other every other avenue I make. So That's sick, dude. Like, yeah. guys, seriously, you're not going to want to miss this one. You know, I'm so glad and appreciative, you know, to Chris that he just made a code for all of you guys for 30% off for eternity. Yeah. yeah. Eternity. Yeah. And then, you know, keep an eye on the page. Keep on. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and, and Instagram. I yeah. mostly post on Instagram more than Facebook because I'm starting yeah. to hate Facebook. But um, I run sales constantly. Uh, I just ran for basically two months. I had a 50% off sale. Yep. Which was, you know, you were getting a bottle of oil for $7. I mean, yeah, and that's kind of what I was going to, you know, tell yeah. people, like, you were having yeah. that sale, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I, I did, every year I do a New Year's, New Year's sale, so I run one for 50%, and then since WrestleMania is in my backyard, we were like, all right, we're going to do a second spring sale, you know, 50% right. for WrestleMania, and, um, but yeah, yeah. like, I, I do it, probably do some sort of, uh, some sort of sale at least once a year, uh, once a month, if not once every other month. Okay. Um, something might be on that's, sale, but yeah. But that's I mean, fantastic. I mean, like, like I said, fifteen dollars, fifteen fifty for a bottle of oil, and yeah, I ship anywhere that's... in the United States. I haven't gone overseas yet because you know I just don't trust the postal any postal service getting my products out there and it not basically coming in bad, you know, with the yeah. temperature change and whatnot. So and actually, Chris and I just had a, a slight like hiccup when he was sending me products. It actually said it was out for delivery, and then like I got to work, and he and I were like looking at it, and all of a sudden it just changed to like being held at post office by my request. I was like, "Bullshit!" I was like, "Why would I do that?" <laughs> I was like, "I didn't request anything." Like I'm so glad that it went back out on the, the, the truck the next day, and 
Did you, did you want to talk about that now, or we want to wait on that? We're gonna wait just on that for you guys. We got, we got, we got more. We got hey, more hey, I, I am, a, I am a squirrel in your world, there, bud. So you just let I'm, me know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get that nut. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey! No, no, with me there, sir. Not with me. No, 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 no. no. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, you're, you're not oh. hairy enough. You're not not hairy enough for my taste. I'm sorry. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we've got Cigar Lounge. So this is the one that we were talking about earlier. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and let people know about Cigar Lounge. And actually, Stephen here, who is still hanging out and hanging tough with us. So we've got, according to your, you know, description here, we have a savor ascent that harmoniously combines sweetness with earthiness, evoking a comforting sense of nostalgia. Sweet tobacco and vanilla is mesmer mesmerizing fusion of amber, vanilla, and tobacco. Yeah. It's uh like I said, it's I, I get a lot of compliments where it smells like powder. Uh I, okay. I get that a lot. Um, okay. And and so you get the, the, the tobacco up front, and then after that mellows out a little bit, then it becomes the vanilla wise that comes that steps up. And then, so I guess those two combine, and it kind of smells like almost like baby powder, but not like horrible baby baby powder or just powder in general. Um, so would you yeah, say it, it almost has like a barber shop? Almost uh, like if if it smells like a baby powder, like yeah, that's not it, what I mean, smells like to me. But if that's kind yeah, of what like, you're saying, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it would. It, it was more a barber shop side. I would say it was just more a powder side. Um, okay, I was that's trying to get more. Yeah, I was trying to get more details about it, but people were like, "I'm not." Just kind of smells like powder to me. I'm like, okay. see, I I didn't get like a powdery scent to it. It's not what yeah, I really yeah, picked out of it. But it's, it's uh, a very clean. It's a very clean smell. It, it, yeah, it's very, absolutely. It's very soothing. It smells and fantastic. So. If you have not seen my review video for that, mm. hop on over to my channel and go check that one out. Absolutely. Why not? Absolutely. You're already here. Yeah. Why not? It'll, it'll take you seven minutes. What were you going to do with that seven minutes of your time? There you go. I mean, I mean what? Watch it the fridge? <laughs> okay. But Same yeah. food that was there yesterday was there today. You, you're not you're not missing much, right? <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely really enjoyed this one. Again, cigar and tobacco usually not exactly something that I'm like I really really need that, but I needed to think about you know my, my guys and what they might enjoy. So I picked this one up because they like tobacco scent. So I was like, this one's you know going to be it. I I do have one that. Been playing around with that. I should bring it back out of retirement. It, it's called uh, the Speakeasy, where it's a vanilla bourbon and that mixed together, and that works really well. Um, For sure. Like I said, there's there, there's just only so much room that I have usually on my vendor tables that I can get. So I'm like, I gotta kind of pick and choose what I have, you know? Right. For um, sure. Yeah, so. <laughs> Josh, would you mind uh, taking care of that one, please? If you're still here. All right. Let's see what we got. Beard bitch. Okay. What's going on? Thanks for being here. Appreciate that, I guess. All right. Yeah. So the other one that I've got going on here. John, what's up? Dagan. Thanks for coming Ooh. in, buddy. So the other one that I've got in hand. Hello to all the new people that just joined. Hello, hello. What's the problem, dude? No, I don't. What do you? Okay. All right. So we have the gentleman. Yes. So this one, we've got masculine cedar and leather. Yes. So for all you leather heads out here. Check this one out. This one is fantastic. Yo, Josh, mind uh, hopping on this one, please? If you're still here, please. Let me see if I can't uh, do something about this. Remove. Yeah. Peace. Done. Later. Okay. I don't like people sometimes. Uh, it happens. Yeah, so 
And uh, like I said, it's my number one selling one. It's my original. That's the first one I actually ever made. Right. And I kind of, you know, it's it's kind of like hitting a home run and your first at bat in the major leagues. So yep. you're like, oh, it's gonna be this easy, and then you're just like, nope. And then you go over seventy two after that. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I really enjoyed this one, man. My wife actually really enjoyed this. So that's all I really care about is the fact that like she can even stand to be around me at one point in time when I'm wearing things. <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah, I've, I've heard that from more than one person. So <laughs> boom! Aha. Oh, what's going on, bearded beard? Um, I don't know if we can curse on, on your channel yeah. or not. Yeah, dude, bring oh, it okay. up. Right. Hello, bearded bitch. Or beard bitch. How you guys doing? You right? I don't think I've ever even heard of your company, so hit me up on Instagram, man. Let's have a conversation. Absolutely. All good, all good. Oh, you're a dude. great guy, man. Yeah, right. Fantastic dude. So. so, yeah, all you leatherheads out here, the gentlemen... Definitely and, want to grab you guys. And, it's not like you're gonna smell like actual like horrible, horrible leather because I've smelled some leather scents yeah. out there. It's just so overpowering. It's kind of disgusting. And I'm like, it's not like that. It's, it, it works. The, the cedar works really well with it. Leather can be a very like overpowering and and very pungent type of oh. uh, scent profile for sure. Hundred yeah, percent. Just launched right on, man. Yeah, Dagon, absolutely. You're definitely one of the, you know, top leather people that I know that enjoys leather. So uh, you're you're definitely going to enjoy this one. Check this one out. Again, bearded and tattooed, right? Am I right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got some it's, too. Bearded it's, and tattooed. It's, 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 it's there. It's there. It's, it's cold um, out here today, so it's just I'm, I, I can't take off the hoodie right now. So. It's all good. But, yeah, the coat I'm saying, right? Bearded yeah. and tattooed. Yep, bearded and tattoo for thirty percent off on my Etsy shop right now. Grab um, you some of that. Yeah, and that that goes from now until eternity, or until you know, either I die or my shop gets closed. One of the two. Oh yeah, dude, I like it. So, uh, bearded bitch, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram yep. or Facebook. Uh, I reply relatively quickly. Um, yeah, you know, I'll help you out as much as I possibly can. For um, sure. So. I like it. All right. Let's get into the next one. We have Obsidian. Now, you spoke briefly about this one earlier as well. Yeah, that one is a, it's a heavier scent, but it's not too, too ter terribly heavy. A lot of, uh, a lot of women actually like that to wear as for themselves. Which okay. Is, it's like a, it's a very unisex smell. Which is really nice, and a lot of my products actually are like that, where it's not too masculine and it's way not too feminine. It's just it, it straddles that line really, really well. Sure. Um, so, thanks, Rex. Appreciate that, man. So this one is a succulent plum, sweet floral, and oceanic ozone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get a little carried away with the the saurus and. And trying to come out, come out with descriptions, I do, and I think this might be one of them that's kind of shooting me in the foot. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, man. I actually really like the way that you kind of try to give, like, you know, this is what it kind of smells like in a sense. You kind of give, like, that description. And so you actually go on and say, this is anchored by tonka bean and rosewood with a base of black amber resin accented by fresh citrus and cedar wood. See that, that that's the one thing about a lot, like a lot of my sales come online, and that's a one thing that it's very hard to do is to transmit that vibe that I have and that that scent profile and get right. it down right to a customer that wants to buy it. I mean, it, right. it's very hard. Like you you can say, oh yeah, it smells like this, and they get it home and they're like, oh no, it doesn't smell anything like that, and. That that's the that's the one thing I hate about selling any type of products that have a scent to it online because you just right. don't know it's a it's a, it's a crab shoot if you're like gonna like it or not you know right thanks for being here Stephen appreciate you man have a good one we'll see you again next time hopefully 
Well, I like the sound of it, man. So absolutely, if that sounds like something for any of you guys out there, definitely go check this one out. All right. So let's see here. We're going to talk about new money. Absolutely. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this is that uh, Clary Sage Smoke Vetiver one. So we've already really yeah. touched yeah. on this one. Yeah, we're good. It, it, it's it's it goes it's a really good sporty scent also it's very fresh uh very clean which yeah. is really nice um so i like it man and so again we're going to talk about the ingredients for the balm yep. so we have shea butter coconut oil beeswax organic sunflower seed oil organic rosehip oil avocado oil argan oil jojoba oil sweet almond oil Vitamin E and arrowroot powder and fragrance oil. So, can you kind of give us a little bit of like that arrowroot powder, like you know, background Wait, for that? I, I I found out the main difference between, let's say, a beard wash for your beard and the shampoo that goes on your head uh, is usually that powder. Usually, you'll find that some sort of es- extract or that powder in shampoos. What that will do is it actually it kind of stops the um, the natural oils from coming out of your hair. So it it, it helps with the greasiness from actually okay. coming out. Um, this one will actually it helps with the coconut oil be less greasy itself. Uh, it does stop some of the natural oils coming out from the skin itself. Okay, but you're replacing those oils with the oils that you would find in my beard oil. So it's like a it. it it saves it from being too greasy from the coconut oil, but you're also replacing the oils that it's missing, that, that you're missing from your natural face wise. It's replacing it with those. Oils. So that, that, that's what it is. It's, it's just to help the greasiness itself. So. Interesting. I'm kind of wondering, like, if people have, you know, certain irritations or reactions to coconut oil, if that arrowroot powder being in there would... I don't want to say like lessen. No, I don't. I don't think it will. If if you're allergic to coconut oil, no matter what it is, if it, okay. if, it, if there's a drop in it, no matter what it is, it's gonna you're gonna have a reaction to it. Okay. It's just it's just one of those allergies. No matter what you do with it, if you're allergic to it, you're allergic to it. There's no Got way you. around it. Got you. Um, okay. But like, like I said, this is the only product that I carry because I try to stay away from for the most part. Uh, some sort of nut allergy, coconut, but I do, you know, mind you, there are some oils that you have to, it's just right. you know, business, but right. this is the only product I have that has that coconut oil in it. And it's just, just to make it creamy, just to make it super creamy. So. For sure. No arrowroot powder lessens greasiness. What? Stacy, can you help us out with that one? Arrowroot powder lessens greasiness. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right. So up next, let's see. And you no, also from India. From India. Thanks for being here. All right. So I wanted to just quickly talk about the fact that you do what are known as beard boxes. Yeah. So can you kind of talk a little bit about that for us? Yeah, I, I apologize. Somebody's outside right now with a leaf blower. And I apologize if y'all can hear it. So, um, You're good. yeah, for usually, I, I usually really kick them off towards Father's Day because a lot of people don't know what to get their, their significant, you know, the, the person that raised them, whatever, their dad for, for Father's Day. And if they have a beard, here it is. Uh, basically, what it is is you get an oil, you get a balm, you get a butter, and you usually get a six ounce bottle of beard wash. Okay. Usually around forty to forty-five dollars, depending on okay. if you buy it in person or if you buy it online. Uh, so you get the basically essentials, or I might throw in a comb and I might take something out, depending on what I have at the time. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's usually what the box usually consists of. So, would the code actually be able to be used yep. for a box mm-hmm. for anything? It, it, right? it works on everything on my shop, on my Etsy shop. Oh. 
arrowroot powder helps lessen greasiness more smooth, etc. Takes the greasy feel out of balms, butters, and lotions. It's a starch like. Okay, that makes better sense. Yeah, uh, she, she explained it better than I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's kind of a hairdresser, so therefore, like, she oh, they, used all of go, these things. I, yeah, I, yeah, I just, I, I just grow the hair. I don't really. I, can't I just really, grow the hair. I, That's I what I do. I grow the hair and I know things. Uh, and you grow the hair and you know things. I grow the hair and I destroy small cities, so it works. <laughs> I want to destroy small cities. That'd be fun. Uh, you you, you got to be a giant to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm not that status. I believe arrowroot helps to reduce the shine, too. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. We're learning. I like this. Yeah, there you go. The Edumacation series. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be in the back. I'm gonna be in the back of the class with that. So right. <laughs> We're gonna talk about your butters really quickly. Hairdresser yeah, soaper, big beard oils too. She is a Jill of all trades. Uh, she is. I'm jealous. Watching in Australia. Man, I'm oh. all over the map today. Thanks for being here, mate. We are. Look at all that. right, all right. Hit that subscribe button. Help help Absolutely. a brother out. Do it. Do it. Always follow me on Instagram and, and Facebook and all that jazz. Um, All right. So elegant task watch and I think one's beard co and I, I forget what it is. It's too many words. <laughs> I love it. All right. So we have your butters here. Yes. And those are also it looks like 1550 for butters as well. This is a three ounce container. Yeah, and that will last you. I think with the beard my size, usually when it's actually straight, it's down to about here. Right. I think it can go uh, close to a month using it every day once a day. Um, because like I said, it emulsifies really, really well. And right. so it covers a lot of a lot of territory. I love that. Uh, my Instagram is oh, what is it? It's uh the elegant sasquatch grooming I company. That's what yeah, the elegant sasquatch grooming company. I can tell you in just a second if you want me to really jump. Yeah, like, yeah that's what it is. If you type it in, it will come up with a Sasquatch wearing a red bow tie with some glasses, yep. red glasses. Men's grooming you know. company. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So it says grooming yeah. company on uh, Instagram. It's beard company on Facebook because it wouldn't let me change it for some reason. Don't be jealous. A lot of work. I volunteer as well as a nursing home. Yeah, dude, I spread my 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 time thin and uh, but in all seriousness, love it. Yeah, man, Stacy's awesome. Stacy's superwoman, man. She's she's, she's I, great. Yeah, Stacy's awesome. I might have to 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 steal that 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 term. I like that. Wow, he's, I like that. I have to write that down. All right. So let's see here. For your butters, it is. Shea butter, organic sunflower seed oil. Again, the organic rose hip, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E. Let's see. Our formula not only delights the senses, but also nourishes and hydrates your beard, leaving it feeling soft and supple. I, I whip it so it's not a straight, solid mass. So it's super airy, super light. And then, you know, you got your fragrance oils in there. So depending yep. on if you want to do something like that. So. Um, so do you ever use essential oils or is it always fragrance oils? I tried, like I tried to, I've tried to before. I can't get the combo right to, to smell like the way I wanted it to, you know what I mean? Okay. Like since, okay. since I am trying for more towards the, the cologne smells, it's really hard for me to do that. And it's just like, okay, there's an end plus on top of that. There's only so much, you know, essential oils I can use before they all start smelling the same. You know what I mean? Sure. So. I get that. I like it, man. And we've already talked about most of the scent profiles. So I really just wanted to go over like, you know, the size of your containers, the yep. price of them, the ingredients yep. of them, you know, really just kind of get everything out there in front of everyone, kind of let everyone know, you know, what they can expect as far as, you know, the size of everything, your ingredients, you name it, the price line of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, th this one right here, this is the normal size. I, I have giant hands, so like this is, you know, a regular Sharpie. 
you know, that's so it's so everything's gonna look everything's gonna look small. But this is a normal size one ounce bottle. This is my oils. All my oils come in one ounces. Uh caveat to that. I'm about to release a half ounce bottle. I'm doing okay. uh sample packs. Really I'm still dude. working on that. So you you know, for twenty bucks you get four half ounce bottles, which isn't bad. Um so if you want to try something out. So you got that. Um, my my butters are three ounces, which I don't have any jars next to me. I come very unprepared for for this live, apparently. Um, no worries. Yeah, like I said, I, my I, butters. I will, I will say, like a three ounce container uh, is highly unusual. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I tried to do the four ounce wise, and I was like, that's way too much. Like that was just a lot. Two ounces isn't enough. And I was like, so I found that median that I was comfortable with. Okay, um, and it's crazy yeah, the so, fact that you haven't changed like a pricing wise up or down even for a three ounce container yeah. because really I've seen two ounce containers and one ounce containers for more. Yeah, like like I said, I I want to keep it budget friendly. Um, for you know, sure. So, What's up, Ellie? It's, oh, hey, Ellie. Yeah, so like like I said, I want to keep everything budget friendly. So. It's not going to break your bank to look and smell good. I mean, maybe oh, wow. one day I'll raise my price, but right now, like I said, I had to raise my price because Etsy raised their fees. So I'm like, I have to comp just compensate for that. But I do so much business on Etsy. It's stupid. Yeah, it is. And I just been way too lazy to make my own website and keep it up and going. That's all so good. My, eventually, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I also, I, I also do have a Mercari page too. That's where yeah. I started at. So I do yep. have a Macari page. Uh, I don't update that as much anymore, which I'm kind of slacking on that. But so good. Um, but yeah, go, going back to the original point, the oils will be coming in a half ounce oil, a full okay. ounce oil. The butters are three ounces. The balms, which are, I think, 10 or 1050, um, those are going to be one ounce. And then my beard washes are six ounce. Yeah. So they're, they're, those I, I'm... Yeah, they're six ounces right now. So, so are you going to be doing like like how you do like the boxes as far as like the sample packs that kind of thing? Will you do uh, yeah. like oils and then will you do like butters or bombs for all of those as well? I mean, yeah, absolutely. I I can do that. Yeah, that's not a problem. Um, yeah, I just got to find the right container for them. Um, because sure. it just takes me takes me forever to find a container I like. It's like me trying to pick out a pair of shoes that I want to wear <laughs> any one day. You know what I mean? Um, I feel you. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like, hey, if I find a container I like, I'll go with it when the heartbeat. So. Right on. I'm, I'm thinking well, about switching to the I, – I really dig the square tins. That, okay. Like, uh, I want to say, like, the, the mints come in. You know what I mean? I really okay, dig Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, an I, I think the, I, I personally think – Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like – okay. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I really dig those. I think those are cool looking. So I might change them. Right. So. so I believe the time has come, my friend, for us to kind of unveil what we have been, you know, discussing and testing this last week. So okay. Chris and I, Chris has been so like amazing to me. He has definitely, you know, made me a happy guy. Um, we've been working together. A lot recently, and uh, we've been coming up with different scents as far as a collaboration goes together. Yep. Yep. And we have three, but we're trying to kind of get that down to like what one? Is yeah, that what we're, so we're, 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 we started with three, we're down to basically two. Which ones right. do you like? The one yep. I like, and the one that you like. So we got to go which one? That's up to you, man. We can go either way. So I I want to introduce all of these and maybe let's let's get some insight from from people here yeah, because one hundred percent. Sometimes, me as far as what I like, it is mainly me, you know. And there's a ton of people that I speak to that are like, it's not for me. Like I, I we we understand like you love this, but like, you know, whatever. But uh, let's let's get into this. So. The first one we have, we wrote them all down. I don't know if you guys can see this, 
Oh, this, I, I, I apologize for my uh, serial killer, you know, ransom handwriting I put on the. You're those. fine, bro. It's all good. <laughs> so this one is vanilla latte. So this one was really, really good. Wasn't the favorite, you know, on, on my behalf. To me, this one smelled more like the vanilla creamer that you might put in like a coffee. You know, I'm, with, with all the ones that we're talking about, I'm taking your expertise on this because I know nothing about this field. I'm just letting you know. It's all good, know. man. Like, if you want to know about bur bourbons and whiskeys, you come talk to me. I, you know, coffee. I'm and with I'm you. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm with you, my dude. I'm with you. Um, the other two that we're we're having here, we're gonna go with oh, probably my 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 number one that I liked out of yeah. all three of them. This one is dark roast. Yep. Which I actually so, have. I have a bottle right here myself. Oh. So this one, out of all three, this one to me smelled like the actual coffee itself over some of the other like mixtured ones that we did. Mm. Ugh, this is probably my 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 number one out of the okay. three that we did. Okay. So this one is coffee shop latte. That's my personal favorite. If I, yep. if I had to go yep. with one, that, that's my personal favorite. Again, I actually really, really like this one. So it was very difficult for me to kind of pick between the three of these. So mm -hmm. can you kind of, I guess, give me a little insight as to like the actual scent profiles of all of these? Yeah, the the dark roast one is exactly what you what, what you think it is. It just yep. it smells like a straight up unbrewed dark roast bean, um, straight up. Yeah, uh, like I said, I don't drink coffee. I like the smell of coffee. I just don't like coffee. You know, if that makes sense. Oh, sense. good. Uh, my personal favorite is the latte. That that would be something that you would find in your mom and pop type of shop. Uh, the coffee super shop light. one. Yeah, the coffee shop one. It's super oh, yeah. light. Super. It's kind of airy. Um, it's it, it is coffee forward, but it's not like it's going to punch you in the nose like what the dark right. roast one does. Yep. That's why yep. you like it so much because it is on the heavier side. Right. Um, exactly. And that the uh, vanilla the one vanilla is, latte. Uh, yeah, the, the vanilla one is a vanilla bliss with the latte combined. Okay. Um, so it, that's why it does smell like the creamer wise is because of that vanilla bl bliss I put in there. I didn't know what kind of ratio I should go with. So that's like sure. a 50 50 ratio. So. I can always dial it down a little bit on on the the, the vanilla side, but that's like a fifty fifty ratio for it. So. Sure. So yeah, I would say between the the two that I have it kind of down to, personally, I would go with the dark roast, but that's just me. Um, I would I would definitely love to hear people's insight and input, and you know, hear what people have to say about that. So definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Should we do a dark roast or should we go with this coffee shop latte? Kind of give it a little bit of that like sweetness to it. You know, let me know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Absolutely. But yeah, so the, those are the those are the three that I thought we would we would come up with. And I gave you a list of names. I basically Definitely. like kind of out of names, trying to kind of. Uh, I spent a week trying to figure out something for you, and I got nothing. Like, I got... So I actually thought of a name. You let me know what you think, and I was uh, just thinking, thanks, Ellie. roast it. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to do this for Ellie and Ellie only because she can't stop staring at my pops. There's more above me. Um, we I'm not going to tell you the rest of beforehand. Yeah, Yeah, we were talking about this before we started. There's more over here. Uh, I'm not going to show you my stupid, stupid <laughs> session. Um, I love with all these soulless, eyeless creatures behind me. So. so I was actually thinking of a name, but you let me know what you think. I was just thinking straight up roasted. Yeah, you know what? Perfect. We Ro got a winner. Roasted. We got a winner. I love it. I did it. <laughs> this, you know, this is the hardest thing about running a company when you're coming up with with, with products. It's coming up with a stupid name for it. 
it's the I will drive myself crazy trying to find a name like the, these four. What one, two, three, four? These five new scents I have coming out. There was one of them I could not come up with a name for. I legitimately ten minutes before he came on here finally came up with a name, and I've been working on this thing for two months now. What is it? Uh, it is. It's called the Wanderer, and it's a uh, black pepper and suede. It's my uh, one. Yeah, it's it's very clean. It's, oh. it's out there. So that that coming soon. I got like I said, I'm gonna I'm, in a little bit. I'm gonna announce my my whole new line coming out. My my spring line because you know we're in the spring right now. Um, I don't yeah, think I, suede is a a uh, used enough uh, scent profile in a lot of it's, products. It's not, and and when it does, it it. It kind of reminds me of the leather situation where it's really overpowering. But this okay. one is super light. It, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say it's pungent, but it's the, it's very clean. Put it, okay. put it that way. Very, okay. very clean scent. That one only lasts about four hours, unfortunately, because it is on the lighter side, but it's a very clean scent. So, okay. Well, thank I mean, at you, least thank you, you thank kind you of put it out there as far as that. Let's see, we got. Vero LFAM4, thanks for being here. Appreciate that. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, man. Again, for anyone that's new here, please hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel out. You know, definitely go check out Chris, the elegant Sasquatch. Absolutely. I want this, I want this gentleman here to blow up so big so I can say I knew him when he was a nobody. I'm just little old me. We got yeah. Adam Animations. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate that. Up, really appreciate you. Um, the bone up there is having a great day so far. Thanks for being here. Yeah. So, all uh, right. Yeah. Before we go any further, I'm actually just going to release uh, tell you what I got going on now. Um, I'm I'm shooting for the end of the month because um, I get like I said I got to get more stuff in to make stuff. Yeah. You know, sure. You know um, the first scent is going to be a whiskey and oak. It's gonna be Ooh. called. It's gonna be called the double shot. Um, the second one, because I had to jump on this trend because stupid TikTok and their stupid car freshener ads had me do it. And now I can't stop wearing it. It's, uh, it's called Date Night. It's mahogany and teakwood. Um, it smells. Yeah, it's it, it's there. <laughs> I like it. And then, like I said, I got the Wanderer. That one's coming out. That one's black pepper and suede, which sounds um, awesome. Yeah, like I said, super clean. And this is the one that really got me that I didn't think I was ever going to do. And I've gotten probably the most compliments out of everything that I've worn. It's uh, it's called the Woodsman. Okay. And it's smoked cedar and oud. And it's a combination that I never thought I personally would wear and I would like. It, right. is, it is on the stronger side. I will let you know. Um, so it's right up your alley. But it is, um, it is, it is out there. Like it's more, not more, not what I typically wear. But right. I'm, I'm all for it. It, it works. Uh, it works really well. I've gotten a lot of compliments on, and I haven't even sent these out to my testers, so they don't even know about this yet. Um, you heard yeah. her here first, folks. Exactly. I I'm sorry, it. Steve. Don't don't shoot me too much. I'm sorry. Steve isn't here anymore. It's okay. He's fine. He'll, he'll he'll figure it out later. He's good. Yeah. So suede and leather, bro. I, I I'm your new I'm your new tester. Like everything gets run through this guy. Like that, <laughs> putting that out there right now. Oh, and and what the crazy thing is about my, especially with my oils. Um, I have a a daughter. She's she's mixed, so she has the really really tight tight curls. Okay. And we use it on her hair and it absorbs into her hair like crazy and it works really, really well. So it's That's just awesome. not for beards. So all okay. my products work for everybody. Uh, you know, like straight, of course, uh, beards, you know, like mine, I got more of a finer hair, I guess you want to call it. But yeah, sure. my stuff works for everybody. So here's a question for you that I've been running mm -hmm. into with other companies, products, this, whatever. But I'm running into more gentlemen with like red, you know, hair, red beards, that kind of thing. And I know that for them, it's a little bit more picky, I guess, like certain blends might work well for them, you know, yeah. 
Can, are you? I mean, I have with... not had one person yet complain about the blend itself. I had more people complain about what it smells like okay. than what the actual blend was. Because, like I said, I use the blend for everything I make. Um, but yeah, it works. Like I said, I have not had one person complain about how it feels or how it makes your beard feel. That, sure. Any of that. So, you know, it must be doing something right, right? <laughs> yeah, man, absolutely. I think you're actually very underrated if I'm being completely honest with you. Thank you. Like, Thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, elegant Sasquatch. Do not miss yeah. out on this. Yes. Very under the radar company. You know, I think you're a, a hidden gem, bro. If I'm being completely honest, like, thank you, thank you. I appreciate go, it. Go, go check out the elegant Sasquatch, guys. Go check out his Etsy page. What I will do is once I get done here, mm -hmm. I will throw the link down in the description. That way, you guys can go and check everything out for yourself, get you guys some really great products, bearded and tattooed, 30% off from now until eternity. Enjoy that. Yeah, and uh, definitely, like, shoot me a message if you have any questions. Like I said, uh, the Elegant Sasquatch Grooming Company on, on Instagram, the Elegant Sasquatch Beard Company on Facebook. Uh, exactly. I respond relatively quickly. Uh, I usually yeah, get a response does. from me within, like, an hour, hour and a half, maybe, depending time zone-wise. You know. But, uh, yeah, and if you have any questions, please shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help you out. You have you know, I'm working on a growth oil now. I'm just waiting for that to come back from my people. Um, but yeah, like if you have questions and want to help grow the beard, you know, absolutely, maybe absolutely. want to try something new, you know, I'll shoot me a message. I might be able to send you some stuff, try you out, you know, try it out, see if you like it. You know, definitely, definitely. Yeah, man. Again, thank you so much for you know taking the time you, out of your day, man. Coming here and hanging out with me, absolutely. I appreciate you so much. Before we go, is there anyone that has a question for Chris? Chris, do you have anything, you know, question-wise or anything you want to, you know, put out there for anyone that, that's still hanging out here today with us? Kyle, first of all, I want to thank you for letting me be here. Like I said, we've been we've been talking about this for, what, three months now? Um, <laughs> it, this has been fun. This is, uh, like I said, this is the first YouTube live I've ever done. So thank you. I appreciate that's it. Right. This is Get great. Um, yeah, so... Uh, you know, blow this thing up. I want to. I want. I want to see your numbers go up. I want to see Let's them go below. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, please ask. That's what I'm here for. Um, the number of pops something. I probably have. You, you, you guys are gonna probably ask. Oh, probably about two hundred. Right, okay. Yeah. Question Most for you are regarding our, our our collab, right quick. Um, yes. Will you make those products in everything across the board? Yes, 100%. Let's go. 100%. Let's go. 100%. If, if I can make it, like, like I said, I make all my products. So whatever you see on my shop, my, these, these hands have touched. Um, so everything, everything is all handmade. I make everything by hand. So, yeah, so. Stacy, I, I hope to God that, like, you and Chris can, like, Talk about different products and like kind of pick each other's brains a little bit. Stacy is a wealth of knowledge. She is awesome. She is one of my go tos. Um, awesome. So yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm here to don't, help. Don't 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 give me your go to because I'm I'm gonna steal her from you. I'm sorry. It's Bring it on, man. Bring it on. Like I what I what I love about this community, like mm -hmm. these companies, is I like to help kind of connect people and, and help them like to possibly open up another door like to yeah. someone else that might think about something differently yeah. or have an idea like that, we're all we're absolutely. all here to help each other that that's what i like about this community because when, when i first started i was getting like tips from people off of youtube which is, which yeah, is yeah. great because i've learned so much stuff off of youtube over yeah. just in general but there is so, like I, you know, you got bearded death oil, I think, coming up, or if you talk to anybody, I, I, I do have it. Yep, that's yeah. right. I, you know, I ran across him on Instagram. I shot him a message. I was like, bro, if you need any help or if you have any questions, shoot me a message. I want to, I want to help you out. And Dave's you know, a like, great guy. I, I want to pass on the information that I've learned. Yeah, nobody dude. passed it on to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I absolutely. have absolutely. And th this beard game, I guess you want to call it, there's enough room for everybody out here. Because everybody has something different. You're not going to yeah, find the same thing twice. So I'm like, this is what, you know, 
if you find a product you like, you stick with it, I guess. You know? Yeah. And I actually have a another company. I don't know if I told you directly, but I told a few people. Uh, next month, I had a cancellation from somebody, um, which was actually bearded death. He's got some other uh, family obligations that he has to go and, and do next month. But I found another company brand new. Oh, from nice. Canada that I oh, am nice. really trying to like bust the doors down for these guys. You know, I'm I'm telling every company across the board be like, hey, it's the 12th of May. Like I would really like everyone to, you know, be here in the chat. That way, in case like they have questions, they want feedback, input, advice, you name it. I want people here you know, willing and, and ready to help, you know, connect everyone and try and work together and help each other succeed, man. This is what I do. Absolutely. And like I said, thank you for the platform. I, uh, yeah, this, dude. This, anytime. This, per, this personally means the world to me that you want to take out time out of your busy schedule because you, you're a madman and you work crazy hours. And I you do. want to talk to my group, yes. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. I would love to have you come back on, you know, numerous times. We'll, we'll set another schedule up and you absolutely. can come back. And hopefully I'm at that down. point, you know, I'm we down. will have I'm way more products to talk about and just everything across the board, man. Again, absolutely. thank you so much for coming on here today. Thank you. Greatly appreciate you. Definitely thank grab you. Stacey's information, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. She's legit. She's awesome. Fantastic lady. And uh, yeah. Until next time, guys, I greatly appreciate all of you Take for care. being here. Chris, the elegant Sasquatch, bearded and tattooed, 30% off. Go get you thump. Yes, you heard it. There. We'll see y'all next time. Have a good one, guys. Later, y'all.